still day four. I'm deciding to make two parts in one day just to see how things go. Another experiment. Just, just saying. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go back over to Lucky as per instructions from the last part and, oh wait, this is actually where I'm supposed to go. Why did I go over to the left? I don't know. Now I go over to the left. And here we go. How's the fourth hole renovation coming along? No good. <laughs> the mole rats are bolstering their defenses. <laughs> They're not giving up the fourth hole. I suggest we take back the fifth hole first. <laughs> it's like war zone. No, we need the fourth hole first. The members won't play holes out of order. What is taking you so long? I'm just a man. Perhaps I need more than just a couple push mowers. <laughs> The grass grows back faster than I can mow it! If we can afford the fancy equipment, you'll be the first to know. What if you just poison the grass? <laughs> no! That would be a terrible idea. Would it take longer to grow back? I could ch No! <laughs> but I may also never grow back. It'd be like... It'd be like if you salted the lambs. Fine, just try to mow it a bit faster for now. Now, get back to work quickly before the first soul grows back. <laughs> back to it then. <laughs> I think I finished my snooping mission. What did you find out? They have turtles there, and if you be nice to them, they'll reward you in kind. Turtles? <laughs> yes, it makes a lot of sense. You gotta be there. Is it gonna help us in the comp? Maybe. Fine, well, I guess you've earned your place on the team. Of course, as your sponsor, most of the proceeds from the comp go to Wellworn Grow. Oh, come on. But not to worry. The prize pool is very low anyway. So what am I gonna get paid like two dollars? And you likely won't win. <laughs> no one has faith in me. Tell you what, just give me half of what you win. Oh, okay. After the 10% club tax. That <laughs> tell me when you when you're ready to head over. I guess I'm ready. <laughs> I already played and I got the side quest complete and whatnot. I can't help but feel like I've made a bad deal. About time you realize that player character. But that's fine, I just wanted the chance to compete. Gotta prove myself to coach. This can only bolster my efforts to make it to the Pro Tour. Pleasure doing business, likewise. <laughs> Alright, so talk to him when you're ready? Yeah? Well, actually, I just wanna see here. Uh, don't go causing... Same dialogue, really? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> this is the big one. Fire away! And the pink most certainly will. <laughs> Everyone's gone in the water. Well, Lord and Grow, 15 point behind. Oh, dear Arceus. No catch up now without the very good. Come on, coach, put me in. Too risky. Let's stick with what we were already doing. <laughs> yes! Just, just put it. Just have everyone hit balls in the water for hours. That'll, that'll make the scores lower. Come on, coach, we're losing badly. I thought these students of yours would be better. Why don't you just be quiet and last hit? Hit away. And so it'll go. <laughs> I bet you missed this next. It sucked. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Stupid goal. Oops. Sorry, I caught that a bit thin. <laughs> That's more than just thin. You you closed your face all the way over. I think I've had enough competition for one day. So, can I have a hit? I guess you have no other choice. Alright, I'm in. Only a score of 15 can win it at this point. <laughs> a score of 15, but what? That can't possibly be for... Nine holes, there's no way. Oh, we're doing this. So this is not actually... <laughs> I thought we were gonna play the course. Not not a mini game. Uh, okay, well, I guess they're playing a mini game. To the center of the circle, I guess? Yeah! <laughs> that was actually pretty dang precise-ish. <laughs> And we're gonna go hit in the hole. That was this is going quite well. Uh, oh wait wait no 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 one one wait, wait no 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 one club back. There we go. There we go. 
Now I am a happy potato. And... Oh, that's too much! Well, it might still be enough. I mean... Oh, I was gonna say, it might still... <laughs> it's still letting me play anyway, but anyway, I was gonna say, it might still, uh... Make me enough points based on uh, the score that I've already gotten, but... Well, I think that's kind of a given, since I had six shots at it anyway. Uh, yeah, I was really expecting to have to play the, the course another time, like in the tournament setting. But I guess this is, uh, this is Lurker Valley's official tournament, not actually playing on the course. Uh, that's, that's about right, I guess. And get in there! Will Coach finally respect me now? Will Coach finally respect me now? Probably not. <laughs> and I win. <clears throat> yes. So I guess they were supposed to be hitting in the water after all. I just probably lost half that money. Scores tie. Wait, what do you mean tie? I just rocketed our point total. Have a one shot left. Need hit hardest target win playoff. Only best golfer ever hits. Um, wait a second. Not. Nah. Oh, the music is gone. This is like super tense moment o'clock here. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, like, am I really supposed to hit over to here? Am I? I suppose I could. I could try. I don't understand where I'm supposed to hit to from here. <laughs> I might just be ruining. The championship here. Oh, nope, I didn't. Yeah! <laughs> it was a totally blind shot, but I just went with where they aimed me to. Yay! Woo! And I guess I'll go for the drive distance a few more times here, but I probably should not neglect um, my control and accuracy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Woo, I say! Tournament win? Maybe? You did it. You won't admit it, but I did it, yes. <laughs> My gosh, you did it! Was that a good hit? That focus. You've got it. You have the instinct. <laughs> Actually, it was just a wood. <laughs> no! Listen to me. We can win. Win what? Everything! But, first we need to get you into shape. I'm doing pretty well already, thank you. I, I play DDR. We need to prepare you for the Well-Worn Grove Open. But there is no Well-Worn Grove Open. The grounds aren't in tournament shape. We're going to get them back into shape. Good luck with that. And we're going to get you into shape as well. Oh, and I won the competition for us. Is there a cash reward for that? Consider it coaching tuition offers. Oh. So I'll just keep it then. Dang it! Lucky steals our winnings once again. I need to get a real feel for your abilities. Meet me on the practice tee at Wellworn Grove tomorrow. I'm going to give you a lesson. A real one this time. Woo! Don't forget, you've got a playing lesson with me at four, coach. Who? Coach? <laughs> and... It appears as if the students have been rotated. <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, oh, uh, not. Why am I wearing clothes? I thought he slept naked. Anyway, uh, okay, let's see if there's anything new around here. Thickens pies. It's slim pickings if you ain't picking thick. <laughs> Pick a thickens today. Welcome back to golf. We have a special guest on today. It's the current world number eight, Lionel Long. You should have some very interesting insights for us. I bet we're gonna beat him one day. Thanks for coming on the show, Lionel. Good to be here, Tucker. What a match. What was going through your mind out there? I putted well today. I made some birdies when I needed. Pretty happy overall. Interesting. But what were you thinking when you trailed by seven? <laughs> Stair trailed by seven. Surely there was some doubt creeping in, no? I was just thinking, I'm putting well today. I should just try and make some birdies when I can, and I'll be pretty happy. Interesting. <laughs> just gonna say interesting to everything. 
We noticed you'd be reading your caddy for a good five minutes after a wayward drive. Yes, it's the caddy's fault, of course. What were you saying to him? Putting's been good today. <laughs> if we can get some birdies to drop, I'll be pretty happy in two when there's a good score today. Thank you for the interview. <laughs> That was a lot funnier than I was expecting. Very insightful, yes. Yes, he's certainly one of the better talkers on tour. Better than most. <laughs> Is that like a reference to when Tiger made that shot? Um, I think it was Sawgrasses. And the, the comedy was like, better than most. Better than most. Better than most. Or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. It might be. It might be. Cam <laughs> How many TV shows are on? Bite into one of Cam's hams today. Cam's hams are not a bland man's ham. If you think that's a mouthful, try a Cam's ham. They're delightful. Maybe I'll uh, tune into the TV every so often throughout the course of the walkthrough and just see how things go. But for now, I gotta get my lesson. I presume it's not gonna take more than uh, like 10 minutes or so, hopefully, for my voice. But uh, uh, where is the coach anyway? <laughs> I'm not really sure where the poop he could be. No? 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 What do you have to say? What? What? Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, where is the co- Well, I guess he might be at the driving range or maybe at the first tee, maybe at the pro shop. I don't know. Let's wander! Let's, let's look around. Let's go over here. Looking for the coach. <laughs> we are newly gained respects from coach. Nope, he's not here. But that side quest remains. Yeah, oh, I'm stuck on things. Okay. <laughs> and oh, off over here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Any more people with dotted lines too? You know, like they'll dot dot dots above their head for side quests. No, no, maybe. No, I guess not. Balls. No. Hello. Reckon Rose will beat you next time. Reckon not. Same dialogue from before. It's fun to just blast away. The same dialogue from before. Wait. Oh, hold on a sec. All those balls that were on the ground. Am I able to run through them and knock them all over the place? Yes, I am. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so entertaining, but it's just like... <clears throat> it's just it's like you, know, you just run through a bunch of balls just sitting on there. And people waiting to clean them up. No, I'll just run through them all. But yeah, seriously, where's the coach? Is he over at Liquor Valley giving, giving lessons or something? Maybe. Am I just supposed to... Oh, hello. I found you. <laughs> Are you ready for some real training? Yes. I noticed that when you made that final shot, you had supreme focus. It's very rare to see in a student. It means you'll be able to pull off shots that no other golfer can. What if I didn't make that shot? Would they, have, would they make like some sort of storyline excuse like that no one was watching me hit the shot when I made the shot? And then I'd be able to redo it or something? Are you talking about a 300 yard drive? Well, no. With shots like these, your distance will be secondary. Yeah, I've always said in my golf videos that distance isn't that important to making a good score. I mean, yeah, if you're going for like the ultra mega world records score, you probably want the uh, high drive distance to cut through as many whole distances as you can. But in terms of just like regular play, you can get by with a pretty low drive. Can you hit 300 yards, coach? Once upon a time, I could. But that's not what this lesson is about. This lesson is about your recovery game. Anybody can play well off the tee, but you won't always have a perfect lie. Sometimes you have to be aggressive when you're in trouble. That is true. Let's see how you perform in different lies. This is something you should practice in your real life golf game. <clears throat> so just try a whole bunch of different situations. Like people, when they practice, they're often practicing in assumption that they're gonna have that they're gonna be in the ideal location all the time. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I totally flubbed that one up. But yeah, um, the people when they practice, as I was saying, is they they always practice in like the most ideal 
conditions, but you really shouldn't be doing that. You should be trying to practice under like soggy conditions, thicker rough, uh, thinner grass, bare ground, just basically anything that you can think of and just try hitting balls off it and try getting the hang of it because the more you do that, the more you'll understand what those lies do to the outcome of the ball. And I, I found that doing all sorts of really weird stuff like hitting around trees or hitting under branches or something like that in, in, the, in the backyard and whatnot has helped me more for getting out of tough spots than just trying to, than just trying to like maybe like hit over a bush or something like that, you know? <clears throat> because you don't always get the most ideal lie. So you've always got to try and figure out what kind of things you might encounter on an actual round. Like the worst possible things you can think of. Maybe it'll land in a cow patty or something like that. And you, yeah, okay, maybe that's probably not a good idea to hit a ball out of just for sanitization readings, but still! But still, you can simulate it by making like a mound of mud or something like that. <laughs> oh, that was terribly mucusy. Yeah, I think this is gonna be my uh, last part for the day because of my mucus overload coming back up here. But yeah, my voice does feel a whole lot better talking-wise. Why? Why did it? Why did they give me a putter there? That's not. That's not useful at all. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, this should work out just fine because it's a, a sand wedge. How was that? How did I manage to? F <laughs> well, whatever. I did it, and I got money for the, the lesson. Yes, you did pretty good. Your club head control is still lacking, but you have a certain tenacity. Risky shots can be dangerous, but no safe play ever impressed onlookers. Also true. <laughs> You're a smart man, coach. What are we going to learn next? It's like, uh, uh, Phil Mickelson, he's quite the crowd pleaser when he does all of his risky flop, <clears throat> flop shots and stuff like that around the greens and whatnot. Overtraining can be just as bad as undertraining. I'm going to the soda bar for a raspberry soda. You can come join me if you like. So I guess we gotta go join him for soda. Hey coach, you ready for a lesson? Uh, you've been striking the ball well lately. More training might actually make you worse. <laughs> I'm going to the soda bar. Why don't you join me? No thanks. Okay, so soda bar was like over... Yeah, here. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next part, because the soda bar is finally open. We will go in there in the next part. <laughs>